Good morning and welcome. Uh, before we start, we have a disclosure. Uh, please be aware of uh, the risk in the future market. Uh, we just closed the trade on the NASDAQ and uh, we still have one ES trade. And uh, we, uh, we closed the NASDAQ on 63 takes. Just right now, one second on the pullback, uh, it was closed. Uh, for the ones who uh, just joined us today, uh, we, we have the signal here on the left uh, column here. And the same here, uh, those auto trades, uh, they work, uh, depends on the signal entry. And then you have the entry price and the target. Then on the pullback re-entry, you have the numbers as well. And then as an example, ES or NASDAQ, you see what is the entry. As an example, the uh, NASDAQ is a uh, 69.30.25 in entry. And I just uh, use it in an ATM, but you can use a fully automated trade. And uh, uh, the target is actually uh, 85.50 level, but on the pullback, I just uh, got stopped out uh, on the pullback right in here but you can see there is 75 takes and uh, this is uh, the numbers on the nasdaq uh, the entry on the es all of it is based on the market analyzer one minute and one lot only what you see on the market analyzer is one minute and one lot only uh, the entry is uh, 8325 target uh, 698 we still have a long way to go uh, we have a little problem right there because there is a resistance at 88.50. Hopefully we can break it. Once we break it, then we're going to be dealing with the 695 level. So this is where uh, the ES situation and we are going to analyze uh, the other systems we have. Uh, the same thing here on the entry uh, based on the last signal, we have 300 takes. You can use the same system, fully automated ATM or ATM strategy. Also, right now, we have a new signal on the Forex. And you can see this is also based on one minute, the Forex, and a mini account is $10,000. We don't have enough room to, to share everything in this one here. But also the same system you can use. This is from yesterday. Uh, you can use it on the stocks as well and feed the automated trade. Uh, on a 100 stock each if you want to or 50 stock each or whatever I don't know how you want to do it but uh, you can use it also on the stocks right here it is uh, the market analyzer uh, for uh, the scalpers which uh, today we are struggling a little bit on the market analyzer and um, uh, those are uh, the scalpers the one in the blue color uh, those are uh, we are using every day uh, the same uh, numbers, one minute and 150 takes. This is every single day uh, we we use the same. And uh, we and right here it is the Ninja Trader with the swing trading, which uh, we have practically uh, finished trading on the swing trading, and uh, we will be sharing the screen and we will be uh, covering a little bit on the swing trading as well. Uh, and then um, uh, for the uh, chart, the one we have shared yesterday uh, with our members, uh, actually, uh, immediately we have uh, people took uh, trades uh, on it today, and uh, they are doing extremely well with it. Uh, even uh, some guys uh, that are new uh, with the trading, and... Um, this is one guy just nailed one trade on this one here and um, and with his uh, account it is an amazing chart it's nothing but signals in it uh the for for the performance yesterday um uh, they are or they were almost within the range of fifteen thousand, and that it is amazing uh and uh, some of them they had the drawdown uh, 2,000, but uh, the total amount at the end of the day was around 15,000. So this is uh, where 
uh, we will be also covering a partial of that as well. We have also um, Uh, let me uh, the Nasdaq is going straight to that target uh, uh, 82 level 82.50 a little problem on this uh, ES but then we're gonna have another problem at 94 75 target 97.50 so this is uh, uh, within line um, I need to be quiet for a few uh, uh, minutes to get uh, my stuff ready as well. And uh, we will go through uh, everything uh, within a just a few minutes. Thank you. This is exactly what I was saying, guys. Uh, this is uh, the problem. Uh, it's the 90, uh, 9475. Um, the, the, the trend is very strong, but uh, there is a problem here. There is a double uh, resistance, and I doubt it. Uh, it's going to take a little time before we can break that area here. And uh, uh, right now we have 569 takes. Uh, based on the last uh, last entry signal, folks. Last entry signal, we have 573, and um, we will uh, we will be covering also uh, the swing trading. If you give me just five minutes. On this uh, system, you can use fully automated or you can use uh, uh, the fully automated. You don't have to deal with the training stuff. But uh, I like the ATM because, look, I can move the the targets. I can move uh, the training stop. I can, I can control it better. But on the fully automated trade, you get the entry and the exit like you see on the market analyzer. 
you don't have any new update with the target. So what you see on the market analyzer, this is how when you are using uh, fully automated to trade, this is, is going to act exactly like the market analyzer. But uh, for me, I like to fuzzle with the charts and I like to, uh, we have tried, uh, I think it was uh, last week, we showed here on a, on a video, um, here on the YouTube, the, the fully automated trade. You don't do anything because uh, the entry and the targets, they, uh, and then you look at it. And it was a bit boring for me. I like to be getting involved in those trades. As an example, why I like that. Uh, now the the swing trading and the scalper, you don't have to sit down and mess with it. But uh, I like this one here because as an example, we have a target, the system saying the target is uh, 99.25. Fair enough. Maybe it's gonna break it, maybe it's not, I don't know. But I knew it right when we are trading we have a double resistance and we're gonna have a problem. And I said that from the beginning of this video, we're gonna have a problem and we did. So this is where you're gonna have an option. Plus you have the reversal start firing up onto this area here. It's telling you this market is uh, going on a pullback. So there is a big difference between you have a thousand dollar trade, you wanna exit and call it off for today or you want to stay on that run. So from $1,000 trade, now we are going back to the support line at 89 level. The probability of this 88.75 will hold. Yes, it will hold and it's going to go back to retest. That is unknown for me. And that is, should I take that trade here and close it? So that's why I personally uh, like the ATM. Maybe some other traders don't like to use the ATM. They want the system to take over. That's fine. It's very, you know, you can do that and you can look at it. But the same thing has happened on the YM here. This is a pullback and actually technically this is a re-entry. So for those guys has not taken a trade yet or they missed out on that trade, this is a technically, this is a very nice re-entry point at this area here. And it is a very cheap place to re-enter the market. So there is nothing wrong with that trade. So this is how I, I, I prefer uh, to use uh, the ATM. And if you, you just give me a few seconds uh, to set up my systems and um, then we can also cover uh, the swing tradings for today and we can uh, cover the scalping. The scalpers today that were struggling royally. I mean, uh, welcome to trading. Uh, yesterday, uh, the end, you can see from the video yesterday that we're hitting $8,000, the scalpers, but uh, Today, you can see there is a problem in, uh, you know, in this honeymoon. And um, I'm actually surprised because um, we had a three beautiful days around the market running nicely. I was expecting a, a little more volatility today, which we did, we don't. And this is very nice. So this is another run today. And uh, that will be very nice. Uh, I'm working and talking. So uh, you can see how the pullback, so this is a re-entry folks. And like what we said, and now the, the ES is going back probably uh, to retest this area here. And uh, and um, if you, you see, I mean, what is the difference between 96 level and here? There is around 100, 150, $200. But uh, we had almost a thousand dollar here trade. Why I need to risk it for another couple hundred dollars? I mean, greed sometimes can fire back at you. So now we are climbing again, trying to retest those levels if we can penetrate those levels. Good luck with that. I mean, this is how it, welcome to trading. Nothing we can do. 
and uh, we know what's going on at least and we know where uh, the ES having a problem we know where is our entry so we are uh, we are okay so just allow me a couple more minutes to to clear out everything here and uh, be with you covering some of the stuff we have While I'm doing this one, I want to uh, share with you very funny yesterday. Uh, we had, uh, uh, if you know, uh, from Mondays, uh, Mr. Ray, we're not going to say last name, uh, the one we were talking on, um, on Monday on the private webinar. Uh, yesterday he called me, he said, Sam, I'm coming back to, to the office. Don't close anything because I usually close around 3.30 and I'm done, you know, we start around four or five o'clock in the morning, done at, I mean, three, three thirty. Normally, I just don't want to look at computers anymore. And uh, I said, okay, I'll stay wait on you and then come in. He needs a little help with uh, just a tune in his uh, Ninja Trader, put in the charts right and everything. I, I set up everything for him and uh, fix him to leave and close. I kept looking at his uh, platform and um, I see, I see something wrong in there. And um, it turned out, uh, uh, Mr. Ray, uh, he was not aware of it. Uh, he had one trade uh, on, uh, uh, on the YM. And guess what? I don't know how long it's been that YM, but probably from the beginning of the session, he had one short trade on the YM and it was seven hundred dollars in the profit on one ym so you can do the calculation five dollars per take on a ym and he had seven hundred dollars in the profit and this guy didn't have um he was not even aware of it i personally closed it for him uh, he was a little bit you know stressed because uh, the guy is a businessman he have uh, a lot of employees and uh, I mean he's not a normal guy uh, and uh, he got in a very good mood but uh, the fun part uh, that he find out he have seven hundred dollars and aware of and um, and I closed it personally for him and uh, I got permission then I closed it for him and he was not aware of it and I find it uh, very funny it's not the amount is that you're not aware of you have a trade for seven hundred dollars is still open so this is um <laughs> this guy is an italian guy this is his third trade today live Sam, where you have been? <laughs> I mean, let me see his trade. We have a lot of people took that chart.
I don't think so. This guy is going to work today. This is his life trade. And then I, I'm not sure he's going to work today. Um, uh, this chart we have sent out yesterday. Uh, everybody put it to work immediately. There is nothing but signal on it, no indicators. And um, this is your YM, and here is was your sell signal. Perfect buy. And you see your symmetry here. Look at it. Those are reversals as well. Look at this one. Beautiful. Let's look at the. Let's look at the ES today. If you notice on the three minutes, it's the same double resistance right there. Sell, buy, sell. We had a sell on those at 83.50, got to the symmetry at 67. This is where is your exit right there. You're done for today if you just follow those signals. Let's look at the CL. Problem in heaven here, 67, 45. You have a, a triple resistance on the CL at 67, 46, and 47. There is a trouble right there in this area here on the CL. This is a problem. This is a huge problem on the CL. Oh, sure. We will be reviewing uh, the auto trades and the swing trading, sir, uh, shortly. Thank you. Thank you, Basharat. I hit my target at 325. And uh, Basharat made 1400 this week. Okay, good, good start. We have Jose yesterday, he killed it. Uh, where is he? Somewhere around 15,000 yesterday. I'll find him. Okay, let's see what's going on in the market. The ES, uh, this is the final destination, it's finished, the ES. And uh, probably we are going to get a new signal, folks. Uh, on the ES, NASDAQ, and Dow Jones, we are about to get a new signal. Let's see. Uh, there is nothing right now. We'll see. Um, <clears throat> I'll be quiet for a few seconds and I'll be right back. Thank you.
while we're waiting on um, a new signal, uh, I want to cover uh, uh, the difference between uh, on the swing trading, uh, the filter and non-filter. Uh, there is not much different because it's a light filters actually. And uh, uh, we're going to be starting with uh, the NASDAQ one minute. If we notice on the NASDAQ nailed the 690, this is unfiltered. And this one is filtered right there. So it was a little chop market earlier and it still have a little chop market right now. But um, if we, they're both uh, on a five, everything on the swing trading is 500. Anything above 500, uh, then it will be plus, okay? So to calculate how many trades on N filtered one, uh, as I promised Jose uh, yesterday, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, trade, six trade on the unfiltered one. And on the filtered one, this is a one minute, one, two, three, four, five. We have five trades. So if we we see the different this one here uh, the unfiltered now 690 and uh, this one uh, the filtered one um, nailed 645 market order not the limited market order so if you think about if you calculate between slippage and um, there is not much slippage in the earlier uh, when the sessions uh, but uh, it, it will wind up almost the same, $10, $20 plus and minus. So this is uh, the NASDAQ uh, based on one minute, filtered and non-filtered. And um, uh, I'll, the only thing I'm using the one minute, three minutes and the five minutes, but it does not mean you cannot use uh, range or uh, takes you are very welcome to use uh, uh, the the takes 150, 244 or 288 takes. They are superb, you know. But I don't I don't have any more space to put anything. So uh, if your auto trade works on minutes, works on anything. It does not work on uh, minutes. It's a junk. Dump it. So this is uh, the uh, the three minutes on the Nasdaq and filtered. And uh, this one here, the three minutes nailed 1,660. And uh, this is the three minutes filtered. And you can see uh, the three minutes took two trades, only two trades, 1,660. Market order. And uh, the... Uh, the filter 1660 market order. If this market is moving, you're not going to see the different uh, filtered or not filtered. It's, it's going to be the same almost. Plus, minus uh, one or two trades, but uh, because you don't want to uh, get heavy on the filter, uh, you will be um, you will be missing the trend. So you, you cannot tight the nut up too much and you cannot lose it too much because then you're gonna bump into power volatility and we don't wanna jump into the volatility trades uh, based on those. Uh, this is uh, the third example. Uh, this is unfiltered five minutes. Uh, and this one here. Uh, is a swing trading, sir. 
1540 base on one trade. And this is the filtered one, 1540 uh, base on one trade. So, and uh, the same entry, the same exit, the same timing. So uh, this is, will give you an idea how uh, the swing trading moves or runs. Uh, let me, we have a lot of Europeans uh, lately and uh, they are into the DAX. I will be covering the DAX in a second. I just want to look at the market. Uh, problem here at uh, uh, YM at uh, 48, 47, we have a little problem there. In between the breaks, I will be covering all the auto trades. Uh, just let me finish and see what's going on here. Uh, for the CL traders, we are already short, but now we have two signals sell. And uh, this is this is the chart I have sent you yesterday. We have two signal sell on the, on the CL. Uh, let me cover, while we are waiting, let me cover the, uh, the DAX. This is my favorite chart, uh, the one minute. One trade and filtered. And uh, one trade and filtered is the same. Uh, this is, I'm sorry, this one here is unfil. I need to color them uh, because I'm getting confused between those two sometimes. This one here at the top is unfiltered. One trade, 22.74. And this one is a filtered, it's the same thing, the same story. Let's see the three minutes and filtered. Two thousand six hundred thirty-five. And this one is the filtered the same. Precisely the same. You can see now we broke this uh, ES and uh, we are about to hit the target uh, 725. And uh, let me see. If you look at your three minutes chart, on the three minutes chart you have bingo right there. So if you are if you are breaking this uh, double resistance and you are using this one minute, you don't know where is where you're gonna be located. This is a final destination 2712. And this time I'm gonna reverse this market once we get there. But uh, uh, we will uh, see uh, the ES uh, hidden uh, 2712. Let me examine that. 
we have a lot of traders are taking uh, those uh, signals. Um, a little pullback, there is nothing to worry about. So, the way it is, this market is pretty. So, this is a direct. If once we close above those double resistance, we should be sure and straight to 12. This is very nice straight. Uh, let me finish this one very fast and then we go back to trading. Uh, this is uh, the five minutes and filtered. I'm going to be changing the background uh, between filter and not filter because I'm getting confused with those. And uh, this is the filtered one. Is both the same. Both are the same. And uh, the three minutes uh, did uh, six, seven hundred euro more. But um, for me, uh, I'm I'm happy with the one minute, you know. So sometimes the one minute make more money. Sometimes uh, the three minutes make more money. Sometimes this one. But um, for me, I'm I'm okay with the, the one minute and whatever I get out of it, I get out of it. The reason I like the one minute. <clears throat> because we have a lot of uh, traders going in, even in USA, we have a lot of traders going into DAX very soon. Live. So uh, the reason I like the one minute better, not because there is, first of all, there is a stability. And uh, the, the, the stop loss on the one minute is very acceptable. Where on the three minutes, the stop loss is a bit higher. The stop loss is not a fixed stop loss. You can, um, on, on the swing trading, you cannot use a fixed uh, uh, stop loss. Once the trend is over, the trend is over. But um, uh, we took that uh, trillion stop and stop loss away from the traders because they were struggling uh, to do that. They were. Uh, 90% of them, they don't know how to optimize, and and the other, and, uh, and also those 90%, they are not familiar with the the market. Uh, like an EIS have a different personality than the YM. YM is NASDAQ, there is a five ticks, uh, $5 per tick, but you have to be widened with it. Not You cannot treat it like an EIS. And the ES movement is different than the NASDAQ. So they don't understand those. That's fine. So on the swing trading, there is no trailing stop or stop loss. Once the trend is over, the trend is over. Simple as that. Too. And uh, there is no optimization, no replay. Uh, you cannot back test it. You cannot forward test it. It's this very strictly turn on, turn off. The only thing you have to do in the morning, uh, just look at it. Look at the market's movement and turn it on. That's all what we can say uh, for the swing trading. Uh, but uh, if like what uh, happened yesterday, um, it was amazing. Uh, the, the swing trading never miss a trade, never miss a trend. And I'm showing you the filter and without the filters, because even with the filters, you're not going to be missing a trade. You're not going to be missed out on anything. Market order, turn on, turn off, and call it off. And there is a news built in into it where you can tell uh, the system to turn to stop trading. On uh, like yesterday, we have a lot of news all day long. Stop trading two minutes, five minutes before uh, the news, and ten minutes after the news, or five minutes after the news. Whatever ticks you, makes you happy. You can. Uh, do that and it is um yes um but uh, yesterday we had much more news my friend uh what is left uh, for today there's just yeah 
is two at uh, twelve fifteen. Okay. Um, so that's what uh, the, on the DAX. I like the one minute because it's a cheaper trade, and uh, it is very consistent. So there is no new signal right now. Uh, Oh, this one is different. Uh, this is the CL. Uh, they're all the same, but uh, this one is a bit different. Uh, the CL 640 took one trade, and this one, the filter, uh, 620, but practically the same trade. So. Uh, don't underestimate the CL uh, with the DAX in the morning before the U.S. session. And um, NASDAQ, Dow Jones, CL, even ES, they run very smoothly when you are trading the DAX early in the morning. And uh, especially the CL, you have a lot of, a lot of uh, good movement on the CL during European hours. Now what we have, let's go back here. What we have, uh, problem again on the uh, double uh, resistance line. And we have the projection at uh, 2691.50. And it is a matter of time before we are able to break it. This is a very clean picture on the three minutes. This is what is holding the ES at uh, 93.50. Once we start closing above uh, the 96.50, we are a straight shoot to um, uh, 27.13. So this is the problem from the beginning, from 10 o'clock when we started. I mentioned the problem right there. So, we're getting this momentum, and um, this is, is going to be, there we go. We need that bar to close above, folks. We need that bar to close above. There is nothing holding back that ES all the way to 27.12.50. This is a very good run. Uh, on the NASDAQ uh, base on the last entry, which um, it happened right before we come in live here on YouTube, 236 takes. This is why I like the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ on the, that system here is doing extremely fine. Even for a guy, even for a, for a guy don't have a lot of capital, he can start doing training on the NASDAQ. I mean, I don't understand when somebody's saying I only trade ES or only trade YM. You're a trader, you're a trader. But if you can consider, if you look to all the videos, we've been nonstop every single day for the last three months. You can see the NASDAQ is not unusual to get 300 takes, 200 takes a day uh, before the... Okay, my friend. How many trades you've been taking, Vito? Don't you think you should stop after that trade, sir? <laughs> you did very well. 
try to protect your money and uh, stop trading or turn off uh, the life and go to sim you did very well on the first three trade this is your fourth trade is enough and uh, call it off for today um we need that bar to close above those numbers here 96 what is your total profit right now Vito? They're coming to you. <laughs> oh, okay. We need that bar to close above. Uh, if we notice on the scalper, they're taking a beat on the YM and the CL. There is a lot of beat on the 150 ticks. Uh, welcome to trade in the YM, really taking a lot of beat on the scalper and the CL on 150 ticks, uh, taking a lot of beat. Welcome to trading. Okay, guys, we are stuck on the ES. We're going back to uh, the 93 level here. I don't know what is going to happen. Um, we need a little push above that number close. We need one bar above those numbers to close. Then we are home free. At the moment from the last entry signal, we have 638 takes based on one contract and the best performance is nasdaq and then the ym and the es also they are good 55 takes in the es and nasdaq 200 takes and the ym 77 takes the dax 180 takes even the uh, on the market analyzer, the CL uh, for the, with the signal is not doing well. So the scalper on the CL is not doing well. And uh, that system here is not doing well. So uh, the CL, there is uh, problems with the CL. You can see across the border here, uh, the CL is not going anywhere. So. We have already on the CL, um, actually, we have three signals right after the others on the sell side, and uh, it's not going anywhere. Look at this chop on the CL, sell, buy, sell, and it's not going anywhere. Oh boy. 67. It's not going anywhere, that CL. So we are stuck with the CL. And um, we'll stay quiet for a few minutes and uh, wait on the new signal. Thank you.
if you wanted to take uh, the CL short to trade, is about time. It's uh, nine right now. Honest, simply, so we're not allowed to call live trade for you. Uh, right now, uh, 98 or 99, 66, 98, limited order sell on the CL, 66, uh, 98 or 97, put a, a limited order on a sim, sell, please. It's about to break down on the CL. Limited order, not uh, market order, please. And uh, I will keep uh, my eye on it. On a sim, please. We're about to break down on the CL. What is the CL? It's right there. We're about to break. Uh, for
Uh, sure, Daniel. Uh, let me show you the gray chart. Earlier today, did extremely well, and now we are diving into volatility. Look, I mean, we did extremely well this morning, and look how we. Uh, and this is not filtered, uh, Daniel. We have not uh, put the filters yet. We are modifying the filters, and then we're gonna put the filters. This is without the filters, Daniel. And uh, then uh, what I like, even without the filter, look how we survive those areas here. And then one small trade. I mean, non-stop if the trade does not uh, go right at least you break even a plus one take and with that even uh, yet it's not managed yet but then we got in and the uh, chopped uh, around 742 we have as you notice yet it's not managed this auto trade with a trailing stop and stop loss i'm not uh, managing it with a trailing stop because what we are doing right now, uh, there is two system on the this uh, a new auto trade we are doing. Uh, we're gonna be doing the same thing, uh, Daniel, uh, like uh, what we have done with the A scalper. When you put the trailing stop, Daniel, on a zero, uh, then you are disabling the trailing stop. And then the auto trade will exit automatic because I'm trying that one here is made for people don't know anything about the market. I don't want to complicate it. And uh, as you see, I'm not using uh, I'm not managing the, the the auto trade. And this is a beautiful trade. I I'm not managing it right now. The only thing my main concern is how that trader we are testing how the trader can survive the chop market. Because during those years, we took the optimization away from the trader. We, we took away the trailing stop. We took away the targets because he keep making mistakes. Now this is not the issue anymore. Now, when this guy is turning on the auto trade, like now, we've been on the same trade on an ES for over what time now for exactly one hour and 15 minutes on a trade on one trade on the ES it's not going anywhere when the trade stays that long that's mean you need to close it and for anyone is on the ES you need to close that trade is over uh, I don't like a trade to be sitting in the market for a very long time should be no more than 10 15 minutes if it's going to your direction is okay but uh, when it's going like this uh, you need to close uh, and uh, wait for a new signal. So for our traders, we have a lot of traders on um, on the ES. I strongly advise you at least take one out and, and leave one because this is the less defense you have on the ES is uh, 88.75. If we break that area, it's finished. Kiss it goodbye. And uh, we so we are going, uh, once we are done with it, uh, Danielle, uh, if you put it on zero, uh, the training stop, you're going to be disabling the training stop and it's going to be automatic uh, exit and entry. Uh, so we are just uh, testing the entries as much as we can and then uh, we will be adding uh, uh, the training stop. However, uh, the way we are doing it, you can do break even plus one or two takes without the trailing stop and let the system exit when when uh, the system exit. Because sometimes you're going to have some nice trades like this. I don't want to miss out on trades like that. And when there is, this one is not like the swing trading. When there, the market is, is between a swing trading and a scalping, it's a practically a normal uh, auto trade on that matter that when there is a big trade there is a big trade when there is a small trade there is a small trade so i think we are doing very fine with it i'm happy with the results 
I'm happy uh, even without uh, the filters. Uh, it is, um, look, I closed it, you see? Close the ES. So uh, it is very well tuned and um, we will be start um, and I will show you what the, how much it did today on the market analyzer. Um, I'm very happy with the results on the on this one with that filter. With the filter, uh, our main concern is this guy not to fall on his head, and um, and that's exactly what we are doing. The whole idea, Danielle, is uh, now because uh, we are t we are not uh, putting a daily target. This is the Nasdaq, but if we are putting the daily target on it, the whole idea is uh, to get uh, base on one contract two fifty uh, or three hundred ES and uh, three hundred Nasdaq and uh, three hundred uh, YM and call it up for today. So the things is uh, the way we are planning on this one here. We're gonna we're about to have a new signals, guys, on the ES. So that's why I'm sitting not uh, doing anything. So the whole idea is to spread out your uh, account, and um, um, take one contract on the ES, one contract Nasdaq, one contract Dow Jones. Uh, we have a new uh, signal on the thirty year Treasury bond is a buy. When you have a new signal, guys, on the buy 30-year treasury bond, this is going to take uh, the, the the ES to the opposite direction, which we should have a new signal coming out very soon. So $250 or $300 a day, Daniel, on each contract. Now, for the guy who has more money, can go two contracts, four, six, eight, whatever. But I want uh, what we will do once we are done with it, we will be running it here on a YouTube live and uh, we will be covering uh, how to do the, the, the filters. If you want to use a filter if, or if you don't want to use the filter, you cannot, you, you can use it without filters. But uh, the main concern for that one here is for the trader when he turn on that auto trade the market is a chop uh, not to uh, bump into wall that's it uh, the, uh, if it makes 1000 or if it makes 200 is irrelevant because if you are really wanted to to catch a big trend we have the swing trading if you really want to scalp we have the scalpers this is not the issue the issue is how to let this guy come in and auto trade without getting into trouble this is a challenge yes sir and uh, uh, today i'm doing another test uh, the one minute i took it to uh, two minutes uh, i'm testing uh, the the two minutes let me show you on the es i'm testing the two minutes on it also it is amazing the job but you should not be taking all those trades, Danielle. You should be you should be done and over with. And if you notice, here has not taken any trades. You see that? And there is no filters yet. And we're not managing it. So um is this is a survival auto trade where uh very soon it's going to be in your hand uh, in, uh, in the qualified people's hands actually uh good you have brought that uh, subject here about the uh, nt7 and nt8 and i was uh danielle talking to uh to our traders uh, uh danielle is saying to put you on this discussion 
uh, that he is more familiar with NT7. And I personally uh, like uh, the NT7. Uh, I like the NT8, don't get me wrong, but it's a, still a new platform, NT8. And of course, there is a, still a lot of bugs needs to be ironed, you know. And um, uh, I updated uh, my system on the, on the latest uh, version 16. Uh, I didn't like it, actually. I went back to the version 15. And um, uh, and uh, it's been costing us a lot with NT8 because also we were waiting on this uh, new update. But I don't like this uh, version 16. Uh, I mean, maybe I, I personally don't like it. does not mean it's not good or not. But I, I prefer to wait for another version. We are going to rewrite everything on the, that system here from zero and that also is, is costly so we were talking about it today that uh, should we do the nt7 as well with it and um and uh, if you and we still have a lot of traders use nt7 so uh this is um uh, i want to see how many traders they want the nt7 and if you want it on nt7 sure we will put it on nt7 absolutely A uh, lot of, there is a still, yes, sir. There is a lot of uh, traders who still prefer to do the optimization on NT7 or they prefer to use uh, the NT7. And uh, I'm one of them. I still like the NT7, you know. Uh, so, and at the same time, the NT8, what you can do with the NT8, you cannot do with NT7. So they're both good. But this one here, the NT8 is a new platform. It's going to take a little time to iron all those problems sometimes we get with NT8. But, you know, if you think about it the same way when we were uh, on, on 6.5 Ninja and we came out to Ninja Trader 7, they had the same problem, but then they ironed all the problems. So the NT7 has been around for many years and all the problems has been ironed. You know, there is no more bugs, hardly any bugs in there. But uh, this one is a new platform. Uh, there is a lot of uh, potential on that platform and is a very good uh, 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 potential uh, 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 what you can do with NT8 you cannot do with NT7 if you put this one here uh, the market analyzer on NT7 will crash it immediately because NT7 is only on one gigabyte uh, memory um, What do you mean, Vic, uh, by saying for NT7, how much of the delay? I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't understand this question, sir. Um, we are about to have a new signals uh, on those. As, please clarify. I couldn't understand that question, sir. Uh, I like the optimization also on NT7. You know, so. Uh, let me talk to you uh, and let me see how many traders they want the NT7 and I'll be more than glad to do it in the same time and release NT7 and NT8 together. But I need to know how many traders they want the NT7. Uh, because if there is one or two, it's not going to pay off for me. We'll see. Uh, Danielle, on the on the uh, and the once we we release this one here, the new auto trade, we're gonna be working every day on it from Monday to Friday on a YouTube privately uh, until we get everybody understand how to use it. It is a very friendly use, and we give you so many options, but it is a very friendly use, and. Um, uh, especially for those guys yeah. has not auto traded uh, just answer my question uh, release both in the same time yes sir i will not release one before one the other one no uh, uh we, once we do the we we still have to do test and uh, vic 
uh, on the, uh, on the, the filters. Uh, the whole project is meant for the trader don't know how to read the market, chop market to keep him away from trading. That's the whole idea on it. And um, not taking too many trades. So if I wanted to release, it will be both in the same time. Once we put the security on it and done with the filter, it will be both uh, released in the same time. Yes, sir. Uh, but I need to know how many traders wanted the anti-7 uh, because uh, uh, actually we stopped developing for NT7. But if we have some traders prefer to have the NT7, uh, we are open-minded uh, for the Yes, and then we have a question about uh, those uh, buy sell entries uh, on the, um, the system here. We have it and we send you the template. You have a buy, sell, buy, sell, and buy. Uh, those uh, we we, I asked the traders uh, yesterday if uh, they wanted to add it on uh, this new auto trade or they want it separately. The majority ask separately and uh, we will do that separately. Uh, sure, sir. And um, uh, so we, uh, the majority ask to make a separate auto trade for the buy sell signals. So we will have an auto trade uh, buy sell signals and we already have it on the symmetry and we will cover it those on Monday. We already have it on NT8 and NT7, those symmetries here. Uh, and actually they are extremely powerful is uh, under your reversal auto trade your reversal auto trade, you already have them. Uh, we can modify them and put them all in one pot if you want to. Uh, but uh, those buy and sell entries, we uh, the majority ask uh, to, um, to have separate auto trade and I will do that. Well, um, you know, I, I really, the two things I don't like to discuss uh, uh, is uh, the platforms and the brokers. Um, thank you, Suresh. Um, uh, I, I, I need to be neutral in this one. I cannot uh, say this broker is better than that broker. And I cannot say uh, uh, this platform is better than this platform. Um, I, I, I prefer to stay away from it, uh, but uh, we'll try to do both. And um, and um, whatever it makes you happy, uh, you go for it. I don't know. With my experience, I still uh, there, there is a, we still have fifty percent of the traders are using NT7. I'm one of them, you know. So we cannot just brush off the NT7 that easily. Uh, I still like NT7, and uh, uh, we'll see how things is gonna roll. And uh, uh, we have some traders are uh, new on Ninja Trader. I put them on NT7 because NT8 maybe. It's a bit complex, so uh, I mean, with a new guy, he don't understand why this problem sometimes comes in on NT8. But uh, we will uh, we will see. We'll discuss it on Monday and uh, uh, see how many traders want the NT7 and um, and we will do it. We're still waiting on a signal, guys. There is nothing. There is nothing to do. We just sit and wait. And...
Well, my ES closed, uh, the ATM uh, closed and uh, the, they all closed. There is nothing anymore. Everything is closed on my side. I don't have any opening position. It's done. There is a CL and it's done. That's good, Suresh. Very good, sir. If you notice guys uh, on the scalpers, uh, actually they're not doing well uh, on the CL. And also on the market analyzer, we are down 20 ticks. So this is one of the problem, Daniel, where sometimes you have the market is not willing to give any, you know. So I wanna, I wanna teach some tricks how we can hedge this market on this new auto trade and it has to be simple it don't have to be complex and um, and whatever you can get out of it with the filters is very fine because once we put those filters it's not going to be like the swing trading minor filters it's going to be a little bit heavy filters and that is going to cut off a lot of trades but at least we will have a traders not bump into uh, volatility and once they are comfortable they can turn off the filters or not but the main things right now is when this guy is turning on the auto trade it's not gonna dive into pile of mud put it nicely uh, and uh, they have this thing i mean habit if uh, a guy turn on the auto trade and uh, right into the money uh, I'm his favorite guy today. Tomorrow he turned on the auto trade and go south. Like now what we, we have no trades nowhere. Uh, then I'm not his favorite guy. So I'm the one is, uh, it's like, uh, you know, he's not looking at the market when there is um, a problem in the market. He cannot recognize it. He's expecting this auto trade to do it himself. And the auto trade is a, just a, a mechanical trading. You know, it's nothing to do. Sometimes the market movement does not help that auto trade, and sometimes it does. And uh, it's not me have to be be blamed for, but the way we have designed this one here, if this guy, if this market is sideways, he's not gonna get in trouble because the majority problems is coming from the amateur trader, not the professional trader. In the last ten years, we never had not even one trader professional had a problem all the noises comes from the amateur trading and they don't know anything about the market with a big mouth you know so uh this is where the the, the most uh, the, the the smoke and the fire coming from amateur trading so we will be uh trying to solve that problem because this is a challenge uh, this is a challenge to uh, to to find a way um, solve that problem, you know.
in our experience, because if you look on the uh, the uh, the NT seven. Let me try to. Oh, no, sir. No, I don't hold uh, any of that. I don't have time for that. Um, Uh, uh, the oh, I I didn't see that we had a new signal on the CL. I didn't see that. Um, if if you are not, it's a very a very straightforward Daniel. If you are using the filters, you run it anytime you like. It is meant those filters to run twenty four hours. If you're not running the filters on it which is going to be in details. We we are going to go in details in this one here before you get your hands on it, because we learned also when we give the auto trade and then we say, come and learn, half of them disappear. They, and then they come back six months later trying to catch up what happened. So this time what we are doing, we have learned during those years. We're not going to release it until you know everything about that auto trade, everything. So if you are using the filters, Danielle, you can start anytime you want. Those filters are robust filters to clean the auto trade from diving into to, to the chop market. Does not mean it's 100%, but it's gonna cut off 90% of the chop market. 80% of the chop market, I'm happy. If you're not using the filters, Danielle, then you, you need to start around 9, 9.30 and you should be done uh, by 11, 12 o'clock. So this is how it is, you know, and we will teach you how and when uh, the, to start with or without a filter. Uh, this way, uh, we're gonna keep going a day and night with it until you can trade it, trade that auto trade with your eyes closed. I didn't see the CL trade, I'm sorry. Um, but this is the only signal we have a CL. And uh, the CL um, target is right in line. If we get rid of it, if uh, somebody following the CL signal is right in line and there is a lot of problems in this area here. So whoever followed that uh, signal on the CL uh, closed that trade at 67.65. There is nothing above that number, nothing but trouble. Mark my word for it. So your destination on this one here, uh, 67.65 and call it off. No more trade on the CL. There we go, close it, $580. We're still missing one take on the CL, bingo, done, over. Nothing left on the CL. Oh, thank you, Tony. Did you see that new signal on the CL? Thank you, sir. Look, it's finished. It's, it's over, Tony. It's finished. $600 in one minute. It's done, it's over, look at this. It's finished. Is done over and um, the, uh, we we had the trade on the YM NASDAQ but I'm using the ATM I was stopped out 
but uh, for the ones uh, disarmed the ATM and kept going with those uh, trades. Uh, right now we are 917 ticks based on the last entry signal. And uh, oh. this is... Um, welcome Tyson. And um, this is it guys, look at this. The CL, you didn't miss anything to the tick. You close it to the tick, it's finished, it's over. Six seven hundred dollars. I don't know how much you how much you made out of it, Tony. And it's just done. Nothing left to take a trade. Uh, we're gonna stay a few more minutes and see if we can uh, catch anything uh, right now. Uh, there is crazy. Let me see what you've done, Suresh. How do you trade in the Russell? Oh, okay. Look, nothing happened, Tony. To the tick, nothing happened. And from here to here, it's going to drive you banana. So actually, this is a, a short trade. And this is this market stock is dead. It's finished. The CL from the beginning today, we're having a problem. Trying to find anything to trade, nothing. You know, whoever took that those trades early this morning, this this is it, guys. There is nothing. We have a Nasdaq trade. Where is that Nasdaq trade? Look where is this nest that got caught. Oh man, this is a problem here. Oh boy. Okay guys, I'm taking a break, five minutes. I'll be right back. Uh, sure, uh, Tony. Uh, we will get it uh, right after this. I'm going to stay quiet for a few minutes, guys. Thank you. Well, maybe we can get a new signal, waiting on a new signal. Thank you.
okay guys there is no new signal there is nothing anymore we have a lot of work to do so uh, i want to say thank you very much we end up today with 763 takes based on one contract and uh, that's all what we have for today there is no new signals uh, to carry on this one here there is a reversal on the nasdaq and we're going drop back again to the uh, 7175 uh, the ES uh, there is a pullback actually the ES got stuck between those two we are done for today and uh, there is nothing uh, CL after we closed the $600 trade there is nothing left we got to the last tick on it it was a beautiful exit done and over with and there is no new signal it is time to learn when not to mess with this market and when to uh, for the ones that they are going to continue you have a pullback re-entry on 9750 on the ES please on sim we're not allowed to call live trade for you on the YM we have a pullback re-entry on the YM at um, um, uh, 898 uh, this is a long and this one is a long and uh, uh, this one here 97.50 is long as well so that's all what we have uh, for you today i want to say thank you very much god bless you all and uh, we'll see you uh, tomorrow and um, hopefully tomorrow we have some movement thank you very much bye for now